What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to a new R&B Fam vlog. Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to my loves. Even if you don't got a man, it's all good. You don't need one. You Kids can, count as Valentine's Day. Yeah, it could right? be or your Valentine's? sister. It could be any of your loved ones. That could be your Valentine's. I had, actually, honestly, you guys, Namido is the first person I ever spent Valentine's Day with. It's, I know, it's hard to believe, That's but crazy. I never celebrated Valentine's Day with any guy at all um like in person so to me it was my first valentine's day damn that sounds horrible it sounds like a horror story <laughs> it kind of was but i made it through each year because i always had like mo or like my friends like stuff like that so valentine shouldn't be with just your significant other though right yeah it should no. be everybody exactly so um, but yeah, so Ramiro, actually, you guys, I know a lot of you guys were DMing me today, like, Brit, you like Valentine's Day? And I'm like, I've always loved Valentine's, I've always loved Valentine's Day, guys. Um, but like I said, I never celebrated it, so I am used to not celebrating it on Valentine's, and I prefer to keep it that way, not because I hate Valentine's and like I don't, I want to always keep that a thing. It's just, it's so busy on Valentine's. I've seen it because I've gone out to eat with like Mo on Valentine's and it's just so overwhelming. Too packed, too crazy, you can't even sit anywhere. And we started, you know, like, like this, this Valentine's we celebrated at Sweetheart's Night. Um, and we went to Disneyland and that was like my Valentine's, right? And it's going to be for Valentine's. Like, I want to just, I wanted to just be us going to go get tacos and stuff like i like doing that because it's like not busy and it's super chill super cute it's still romantic in my eyes um but ramiro literally yesterday goes babe can i tell you something i'm like what and he goes so i kind of made plans for us tomorrow for valentine's day you guys should have seen my face i was like like not disappointed but i was like babe i told you i don't want to celebrate valentine's but Damn. not not that i don't want to celebrate it i do but no, i don't want to i, I don't want to be out in public or like doing stuff so let me just put in gas so i was like okay whatever um like yeah like what is it and he goes i'm not gonna tell you to surprise but it's something that you've always wanted to do and i was like can i at least get that attire like i want to know how to dress he goes just go simple casual so i was like Okay, so I have my Doc Martens on. You can't really see this jumpsuit and this pink jean jacket. So cute. I wanted to, like, still wear something pink. So I was like, I'll just throw on this jacket. And you guys, I was such in a rush because our reservations are at 2. And I guess it's really, really far. What I mean, says it's, like, almost an hour and a half with traffic almost 2. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, where are you taking me to? I don't recall anything. I remember that's really far. But anyways, I had no time to get ready, so I threw my hair up in a bun, and like I don't really like, like how I look, cause this is like super like a fast ass job, a half ass job, I should say. Half ass, you look bomb. Are you sure, babe? And it's crazy when she says that, cause this is look at this. I look like shit. Like I haven't got a haircut in hell long, but it's, it's okay. Cause you still look cute. We got a trip coming up, so I don't wanna. I wanna do it the day of the trip. <gasps> we got a trip coming. Me and I meet all you guys. I'm so excited. We will be going to Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I'm super, super excited for that trip coming up. You so, look good though, man. Huh? Thank you, babe. Fire. And all pink and shit, so. Yeah, I still try to throw on. I still try to be festive, so. And you guys, shout out to Piki because. I know, Piki came through for me. Yeah, and Amiro asked her prior. I don't know. I don't know about this, but Amiro goes. And, and I was like, babe, no, the kids, they have to the, we have and, to pick and them you guys up. watch I know people that have kids it feels so good when you when you get that whole who's gonna do this for the kids situation settled oh, that shit feels bomb and then everything yeah. goes according to plan when I when I attacked him I was like babe no we can't what were you thinking scheduling it at two reservations at two like the kids get out at three like what the hell and he goes babe I got under control I was picking them up and I was like oh that shit's Here like real night and day when that happens it, it like relieves our uh, stress level huh Hell yeah, for me, especially because I'm always like, you guys, so we just picked up some McDonald's because we just woke up and we haven't ate anything. Okay, and our meatballs over here giving me shit because we are running late because of me. I'll take the blame because I had to get ready. Right, babe? Yeah, it's all good though. And he was saying that him and Fernando were talking about this on the podcast. I don't know if you guys 
No, but I mean, I'm finding a came out on the social experiment podcast. And they were talking a whole lot of shit about me and Brie. No, we weren't. Hey guys. Let me give you guys my McDonald's order. It's so good. This is the only thing I order from McDonald's, by the way. I get the hot and spicy McChicken and I add two strips of bacon. Fire. I also get a um, french fry. And you have to eat it with the Mexican salsa. So, so good. And I also got sweet and sour. I really like sweet and sour sauce because you guys, I used to work at McDonald's. Uh, I always used to try all the sauces to see which one I like the best. I also like um, buffalo sauce for McDonald's. So good. You guys, we made it. Guys, we just got here and there's so many couples here. It's so freaking cute and pretty. And how do you feel about it, babe? I, I was thinking you're gonna like it. You love the Titanic. You're like, I am obsessed with the Titanic. Like I have seen about it this for a minute, over a so. hundred times. So we. Uh, yeah. This is it. This is an entrance. They have like a little gift shop right there, and everybody is in couples. Like literally everybody that came today. I low-key have a little bit of asco from the um, McDonald's. Maybe because we were riding in the car and you were eating. Yeah, I just, like, I haven't been feeling good, like, at all. Well. I also ended up changing my jacket to this one because the other one, it's so cold in here, you guys. It's freezing. And this one, I feel like, is much warmer for me. The other one was, like, not so warm. Like, a lot of air was going through, especially because it's oversized. So... This one's more tighter fitting and swimmer. Because we're starting. So since you are kings and queens, think about it. When has a king or queen entered into a room to a reception like this? That's oh, I love this one. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of depressing. It's so sad. It makes me want to cry. I want to watch it on the corner. Alright, we'll do that. So, Ramiro got his VIP tickets, you guys. I guess there's extra. I think you get a little extra more, you know? I think you get like pictures or something. That's what you want. I'm excited. I don't know. So, we're in line for that. Yeah, so it's a self-pay event. Yeah, so we I mean, use the lights if you need. Gotcha. And enjoy. Thank you. Hello. 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 Now we're going to each other. Now we kind of fall into one another. That's it. You guys rock. Guys, look at these postcards. No, that was from 1909. That is crazy, you guys. Look at Payback. That's crazy. Do you guys hear the music? 
feel like going like this right now. <laughs> Remember when yeah. he was drinking? They just had lots of like. Just the, the way it was, yeah, design. The way it was designed. Real photo postcard. Belfast is where they built the ship in Ireland. Yeah. And then they moved to, they left Voyage from uh, Southampton in England. You know, it's crazy they used no computer technology or nothing. Everything was just built from paper. Like whatever they envisioned. This makes me want to go on a cruise now. What? <laughs> this is like makes me not want to go on a cruise. <laughs> I know, but it's just so fun. Look at that book. Olympic and Titanic. 1908. Oh, look at the captain. Captain's clothes, right? Yeah. Like white line store. This is it's crazy. Guys, you get all the stuff, but... Look at the writing all in Crisco. Look at the luggages and the anchor. Okay, we're about to enter now, guys. I'm excited! Oh my god! Yes, I want to take a picture here. So we are entering Titanic. I guess we're entering. Is this first class? This has to be the first class, huh? I think so. Yeah, this we're has to. This is entering Titanic. This is bougie, bougie right here. I wouldn't mind riding in. A, I don't know about riding in a ship right now, but yeah, this looks. This has to be first class for sure. Super nice. I believe this is how the inside of the rooms look in first class. Wait, what is this? I think this is like uh, inside of first class. This is uh, what is this? The grand staircase? Well, the grand staircase, right? Looks so nice. Looks just like the movie. Dude, this must have been crazy to be on this. Huh? The guy says things like, I feel like I was on a Titanic. I this is say. like Britney's top three movie of it's all like, time. Yeah, it's top this, three, for sure. This and Pearl Harbor is in the mix for number one. Always. It's so beautiful. The staircase looks crazy. It looks so real, like authentic. You know what? It has so much detail, huh? Yeah. Everything's detail. All right, guys. We're going to enter in the uh, second class life. I didn't even know this was a thing. I've only heard of first class and th uh, third class. Oh, this is middle class. Yeah. That's what it's called. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, here's a box. Here's a clothes. Oh, uh, this is like a simulation at night, right? Right in the boat. You can hear the waves. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here's a timeline of all the ice warnings that they had from on April 14th. 9 a.m. Then at, at 1.42 p.m., another ship that had passed had uh, relayed the message that there was ice, icebergs present to the Titanic. All right, at 1.45, somebody else had... That's like three minutes later. Yeah, this was another ship, I believe, look, from the SS America that, that said that. And then the SS California, we were stopped and surrounded by ice later that night. See, there were so many ice warnings. And look, they gave in the, uh, the latitude. These are the coordinates on when you're on the ocean. Yeah. The heavy pack with ice and great numbers of large icebergs. So, so everybody, they already had a warning. They had so many warnings. So guys, it's dark in here because they're trying to give us that, uh, that type of feel. Yeah, because when the iceberg hit, there it was, was no dark. light. Yeah, yeah, it took the, out the electric. All the lights were out off. of the yeah. ship. Look, that was recovered. That was recovered almost like 75 years after it sank. This. Yeah, in yeah, the when, water. Look, yeah, look. White Star Lines RMS Public Master Light Clear Lens recovered during the 1987, 1987 expedition. expedition. So they went out there in 1987, huh? Yeah. Look at the bow, babe. Oh, that's the one they run. Yeah. Yeah. 
there. They split the deck space into several different areas. Oh, the life jacket. It's a second Director James Cameron movie prop life vest. Oh, it's a prop. So that was a life vest back then? What's from the movie? Yeah. That's but crazy. that's how they look, probably. Yeah. Postcard. German postcard. But this is when it hit, huh? A postcard of it hitting the iceberg. Yeah, look. Yeah. The iceberg was huge, huh? Yeah. Look at the iceberg, babe. Here, recording one of the Can you feel it? Oh my god, it's so cold. Yeah? Here, let me do it. I would, I would die. I would seriously die. Keep it there for a while. Imagine how cold they were. Oh, no wonder. Dude, I'm getting like, I feel like I'm getting frostbite already. Right? <laughs> Here, no way. Guys, since in the beginning they gave us our boarding pass with our names, who we were, you get to type in your name to see if you survived. And I survived, you guys. I'm a survivor. Actually, you, you lived up to 95 years old. When did I die? In uh, 1975. 1975. Wow, I'm a true survivor. Alright, let me see mine. Henry. Junior. N.R. Dodds. Oh, I'm dead. dead. I'm dead. I told you, babe. Fuck. 25 died years old. Died in a Titanic disaster. Body not identified. Damn. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, there's so many names, and this is the lost, the lost crew. Um, this is the crew members that all died. All the workers were taken away, and then third class would be right here. There's a lot of third class, dude. Second class passengers barely passed away. Like second class passengers. And then look at how many first class. There was hardly first class. Third class, oh my god, so many. So many. This is so sad. The greatest sea disaster, really. Um, it's a real action. And the, all the real Like the news again. things? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's so sad. Wow, this is crazy. I am saddened. Yeah, some stories to have. You guys, you guys remember when the band played to the end? They played together. Huh? They just wanted to all calmly pass away. Here we have the, um, the famous uh, necklace for the movie. I want it so bad. It's a pop Kate Winslet, right, right? yeah. Okay. And then we have the famous painting right here. The Leonardo DiCaprio drew. Yeah. Favorite part. This is my favorite part of the movie when I was little. Wow, it would be. <laughs> Guys, we just got out. I just want to say thank you so much, babe. Because you're so thoughtful and you took me somewhere where I've been wanting to go to for Got a to. long time. Little things go a long way. I've been seeing it on TikTok and I'm like, babe, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. But it's so far from my house. So I definitely recommend you guys. It was I learned a lot, actually. Learned way more than what you see on like TV or the movie or whatever. But oh, I loved it. I can't wait to show you guys our little souvenirs that we bought and our pictures that we took. But right now we came to eat. You guys, it takes two hours to get home. So me and Amito. Well, the Edmund in the Hollywood uh, Hotel. Yeah, the Edmund. So. So me and Amito got a uh, Panama. Yeah. He really wanted a Bloody Mary, but. I love Bloody Mary. Cheers. Really good. That's how we like it. Yeah. So places, we, don't like them, we don't like them super sweet. So or sour. We still like the tequila, but more uh, tequila lime. Right? Yeah. More the lime and then that tahini gives it the flavor. 
So you guys, I forgot to vlog the oysters, but the yeah, oysters. Yeah, I ran through them like in fucking five minutes. But they were so good. I only they're, had one. They're really, really fresh. They said they get them in daily, so they're not sitting. Yeah, they're so good because you guys, I like my oysters tiny. I don't they're like when small. they're so big. I like when they're like very, very little, like this. They were so fresh, so good. But I didn't want to. I don't know. I don't want to eat. We're, well, this is just like a little appetizer. Oysters. She's, she's got a place that we want to go. Well, she wants to go. So I do. Yeah, right. You want to go to your taco spot? I don't want to say it because it's disgusting. She wants to go to King Taco, guys. Like, she doesn't want a steak dinner. She doesn't want anything fancy. She just wants no, to go to I want like a tempo, like a cantina and like tacos. But obviously, there's nothing around here. No. And we're doing this. But like and then, King Taco, yes. I don't know how you like that so much. No, we don't know that. I, King Taco has a, my heart. But then we don't like calamari, so. I just, I'm a fan of seafood, but I just don't like rubbery stuff. This is not rubbery. Yes, it is rubbery, I don't, I don't, I don't, I wish your taste buds worked like mine. This is like so good to me. Try one. And don't lie about it either. Give an honest opinion. I'm good. Try it? Really good. Okay, so I'm gonna try one. Which, which one do I dip it in? Just this one? You might like the tartar sauce. Tartar sauce? I don't know if I like tartar sauce. Whatever. Not bad, right? No, I'm trying to think of it as if it's chicken nuggets, but it's it does have a very what's what is it squid? Something like that. Um, this is gonna be my last bite. What? What happened? It's very rubbery. You guys, so Ramiro just told me about this guy that chose a lump sum of one billion dollars. The California winner, well, it was up to two billion dollars and that guy from California won, sorry. Um, out of two, mi two he billion. He took 997 million and we're telling each other what we would do with the money and I said, uh, we'll build, we'll be, buy a big property, like a hundred acres, right? We'll build our house without telling well, anybody. Well, I told him, you know, first, I would buy everybody in my family their own future yep. home, dream home, and it'd be like mansion home, yeah. on the hills, like but, that type. But, and I want all of us to live all close together, like I would, everybody. I would want a village, like with uh, her mom and Gordo will have their own house. Even though yeah. Brianna and Fernanda have a nice home, like we'll still build them a sick ass house to live there. Then we could build Karen and Ruben a house. Um, I'll do my mom. A house too because they're all going to be separated they'll have their own acres and then we'll all oh yeah we'll for sure get your mom at home and your and dad we can buy but your dad wouldn't want to live in LA well it wouldn't matter he would have he would have we'll no choice him at we'll pay for, we'll pay for we, no it, we'll move him over here because we'll, he, he just wants animals so he'll have acres to have any animal we'll buy the animals he wants right wait and i want to we'll build, I want we'll build yeah i know we have like 10 acres on our property okay hypothetically i want speaking. horses and everything then not your mom, hypothetically your mom, your mom will have like a whole, your mom will have a whole fucking dog like sanctuary where she can rescue dogs a and shelter. Shit. yeah she'll have her own shelter and then back. we'll buy everybody a car like a rolls royce not a rolls royce but we're gonna get them i'll get them a suv <laughs> and a car to use we're going electric here. We're buying them all Teslas. Pickup truck and and uh, Sorry, uh, fam. We're, Teslas. And, yeah, we're hooking them up cuz then it'll be too much on the maintenance on the Rolls Royce. You're not going like to want it. Oil after. changes? Yeah, 3k, 4k for a oil change. Oh, hell no. So, we'll get them all brand new cars. We'll set them up. Each one will have like three and a half acres to do whatever they want. And then okay. we'll build the kids houses without them knowing. We don't want them we don't want anybody to know cuz then it will they, be a secret. Like we'll be doing all these projects. That would be hard them. to hold a secret from all this. Like these secrets. No, it wouldn't because we'll be rich as fuck. We wouldn't but we don't say that we'll, we'll, um, we'll build a community and we won't tell none of my family that we're building them houses. And then we'll move in her dad. But then he said, my dad will have to live somewhere far because my mom and him don't get along. And I told him, you know, I was like, first of all, we're gifting them a house and my mom wants to take a shit to get I guess we're like life. the mayor. We're the mayor and governor there. If yeah. they own it, right? So we'd make the rules. So you can't look out for that type of stuff. My dad will be in his own home and my mom will be and in then, her And then, and then, this is the tight part right here. We're going to have a turn up spot. 
like a big ass tournament spot that we're gonna, yeah like we're gonna build some crazy shit like well we have tvs everywhere bars, oh, and a bowling alley a bowling alley like an open, open then like golf like top golf yeah we could do some well shit we're billionaires now so fuck it but do you think you could do a lot with a billion dollars i do a lot with thousands of dollars this shit could you imagine with a million billion dollars yeah a billion dollars is life-changing a million dollars is life-changing come on a billion dollars? Hey, but it's a thousand million dollars. So oh. that's our plan, you guys. Let's keep it a secret if we win, if we get a billion dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, community would be like the dopest shit. And uh, we'll pay off all their debt. Can we live in Kevin Glasses? I don't think we would care about where we live because we'd own it. But I would want to live in LA. I mean, I don't care where we live, as long as we get like... Dude, but can we live in LA and build a um, community with a billion dollars? Of course, what the fuck? Hell yeah. But yeah, you can do that, easy. Yeah, you could buy something okay. in the mountains and do some shit like that. So there but, you have it, folks. I don't know. This is if we win. Are we gonna play? We play all the time, we don't win. <laughs> It's a problem. It's so always good to dream though. So this whole fucking shit went down the drain. I won't fucking plan. It's hypothetically speaking. I mean, I don't oh, like oh, to you know what else? Speak. You know what else I'd do? What? We'd have to take like a hundred million dollars to Mexico and and give it to people that don't have homes. All those huts that they live oh. in. Oh, like, babe, I haven't even spoke about what I would be doing to get that. But we'd all have jobs so, giving back to the community, everybody that lives in our community. I for sure would want to help animal shelters. I for sure would want to help... I would adopt a hundred dogs from Mexico. Yeah. And I for sure would want to help the poor kids. Like yeah. in Africa and Mexico and, you know, and the moms that don't, you know. We'll do a lot of giveaways. Oh, oh, or the people that are sick. Yeah, that would, our, our whole thing would be like giveaways, basically. I want to be like, what's his name? Um, Mr. Beast? No. Ooh. Well, yeah, I, I like, I like Mr. Beast. Life? No, um, Doc Dane, no, what's his name? What does he do? He gets back. Dane. He, he just took some guards to the Super Bowl. Oh, that guy from TikTok. No, I was talking about Merce Life, the one that builds houses in like uh, Colombia and shit like that. The one that I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about. I just forgot his name. Yeah, him. It's an amigo was telling me that he likes coming to like places like this with me. Which, by the way, you guys, Amido's not a drinker, so we hardly me and no, him I like to bars. I like drinking, but it just depends who I'm drinking. But I told Amido. That, like I like doing this episode because I feel like it brings me back memories when me and him first dated and me and him were always up and down downtown Sacramento and like we were always like out and about and like at bars but bro, I, I feel like it's because he knew that I like being at a bar no I used to go out a lot because I knew where I was going that's my hometown so I was down and then we're time. far from LA <laughs> Exactly. And then also, cause Ramiro's like, I gained kids. I got kids, bro. I got to They need me at home. They want you home school. after school. I need to do the homework. We can't just get up and bounce anymore. The only time we could really do that is like Saturdays. On the weekends. And not no, even only that. Saturdays. Yeah. Not even Sundays. No, really. Sundays are off limits. Only Saturdays. It's hard. It's all right. Like when we travel to Mexico, um, thank God, like I have family to help me because like, um, this is like the only trip that we'll take by ourselves without other people. Why? We did Cancun by ourselves for our anniversary. That was only when. And then Mexico. She can't be by herself either. She's weird. No, I could. The thing is that I feel intimidated and scared. Dude, I suck at Spanish in Mexico too. She always says she's Babe, sucks your in Spanish. Spanish is looking good, better no, than mine. No, babe, no, babe. My like, Spanish is like chueco. Like you guys already know, it's like very like chopped. And I it when I'm in Mexico. And then like that. so like we be in Carnaval and everything, which is like the festivals in Mexico and in, in its hometown. And over there, like everybody knows Spanish perfectly, and I, and like I know it. Like I love to see that I'm fluent speaker but I get stuck and I forget my words and I just get so embarrassed. I the same shit. I feel like I can have like a 30 minute conversation like yeah maybe like a 
five minute Dude, my cousins make fun of me, like joking. I don't even know they're fucking making fun of me. And they like, have you seen them? You're just gonna be with his family. No, I'm gonna be with you. I don't even talk to them. But pictures. like, but be. Oh. I told you guys the story where I don't like these fucking my cousins anymore. They're all fucking dead to me. Babe, stop. I'm recently, serious. into recently. But recently, it's been a year. Let's not half. say stuff like that. Fuck them. But anyways, um, what I was trying to say is that I know that Milo's going to see his guy cousins and his other family members. And obviously, they they, English though, so you guys good. are going to talk. And then I'm going to just be left on the side and I'm going to be like... Hey, now you're a drinker. You're good. Thank you. We're good. Somebody give me a shot. All right, did you have fun last time? I did. Okay. But it's because um, be another girl who's though. with me that was from the U.S. That's from Sacramento. Dude, everybody from the U.S. will be there. I promise you. But like, well, well it's good. Watch, perfect. we'll figure something out. Don't trip. We're not gonna make you feel like you're not fitting in. I'm so nervous. So. Okay, guys. So me and Amiral just got in the car, and then. When you do the VIP pass thing, they give you this book, or you could purchase it too at the gift shop. And it basically just gives you a whole rundown of what you've seen in the exhibition. Right? Exhibit, yeah. The exhibit. And look at you guys. It has like real life pictures from the day. I don't know, I really appreciate this type of stuff. Like, I am the biggest Titanic fanatic. I've literally seen Titanic, like, a billion times. And I love, like, the whole love story, even though it's fake. I just, I love it. There was love stories, though, on the... Um, no, there was, yeah. It, it wasn't exactly Jack and Rose, but it was, there were some love stories love. that happened on the Titanic. And then Before also... And got married. Yeah, and then we also got... Then we don't want this tin can. Put my silver and my gold in here. And, and then that was a cute one. It's like little, little stories. Yeah. And then I also got these postcards. It comes with several postcards. This is another good one, too. And then, I don't know why, I really, really wanted the book. I wanted that book because I want to make the kids read it. Yeah, I really wanted the, the book. Lately, Sai and JJ have been reading because Ramiro gave them a task. No, <laughs> it's uh, it's an incentive. So, like, they want to earn money. And uh, my cousin was telling me, he goes, hey, dude, like, the best thing you should do is probably pay them to read. Like, that'll make them do it, and, you know, reading it's knowledge. So, I was like, you know what? You guys read a 500-page book, you guys get 30, 40 bucks, depending. They just want games. Yeah. But they'll read games. the whole thing and I make them. They've read been the whole reading thing. so much lately, you guys. Like, and JJ has even been begging me like mom buy me more books because he's already ran through ran all his through books. books yeah so like if you guys ever need like a little thing like that for your kids to get a little more motivation into reading even like, like a five dollar encouragement even, yeah i tell encourages them encourages him yeah i told him if you read 100 PL. pages i'll give you five bucks yeah and 200 pages 10 bucks and then uh, i told him if it's over 700 pages i'll give him 50 dollars so yes. they just want every book over 700 pages now. But um, regardless, so like even when I feel like I just, I feel overwhelmed or anything, I can just come and read a book and um, I really want to read this, you know. So this is a Titanic book. And then I also got this little postcard thing of the Titanic. Obviously, White Star Line is the one who made Titanic. I really love this. It's like, it's just saying that it's vintage. It's a folder. Like, you can put like paperwork in there or whatever. And then I, and then I really want to show you guys this, our pictures. They came out so freaking cute, you guys. Like, oh my god. Me and I'm little kissing. And it has this, you know, obviously the bow with people. And then we also took another one. They let us take two. Also, this was also included in the VIP pass. Um, look, this one's my favorite. Oh, babe. Mm. I want to post these on Instagram. They're nice. I love them. I'm so happy. I really, really loved our date night, babe. Did you? Yes, I really did. Thank you for taking me. And on our little dinner date that we had, it wasn't really dinner because we just came to a bar and then bar. we snacked. We but up. that was a point. Like, we wanted to do that. 
Um, but I had so much fun coming because, you know, like I said, we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day F, so this was really, really special to me. Yeah? Yeah, it was. That's good. Ramiro brought me to Calaveras in LA, which I love. This is my favorite drink. I don't know. Piña con chile, he copied me. But it's so good. She babe. said it was a 10 I out of 10. It. It's so good. Try it. We'll stir it, maybe. No, it's a drink. This is good, right? I love this drink. It's my favorite drink. Like the paleta. Bro, that shit tastes like perfume. What the fuck? That's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, but like the scent that I'm smelling, oh. it's like some fruity. I think like... somebody um, freaked themselves. No. It's my middle's favorite song. It's my wedding song, bro. To me. Well, yeah. <laughs> so my you guys, we got me and Amiro are sharing in Moncajete because it's so much food. This is like literally for two people. 